what is going on youtube lamont at large today we are in orlando florida that is the ritz carlton right in front of you and that is the hotel where bob saget tragically died on january 9th of 2022 now of course everybody pretty much knows bob saget from full house and america's most funniest home videos full house was my mother's still is my mother's favorite television show of all time and of course uh, it was funny to see bob saget play such a wholesome character and just have this uh, you know america's dad image right and then to see him in half baked which i'm not going to repeat the line but it's a classic line it makes me laugh even when i think about it and to see his uh, stand-up act acts you know uh <laughs> quite a different character uh if i do say so myself now uh, the Ritz Carlton is a very, very uh, fancy hotel. I called about booking a room because I just wanted to try to get up there. It's just to show you the room where he died. Rooms are going for a thousand dollars. And I believe this is the off season, so don't quote me, but it was quite expensive. So needless to say, I ain't booking that room. But uh, I think everybody was absolutely shocked to hear that Bob Saget not only died, but the manner in which he died. So everybody, you know, Bob Saget was like 65 years old. So everybody automatically assumed, oh, he died of a drug overdose. Oh, he had a heart attack. He's 65, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, Bob Saget was in pretty okay shape. You know what I mean? He, did, he barely, look, he didn't even look 65. It, it was hard to even fathom that he was 65 years old because I just remember him from the, you know being Danny Tanner on Full House and when the autopsy report came out I mean it floored everybody it absolutely floored everybody it floored me it says in the autopsy report that he basically died of a skull fracture you know the skull is like an egg you know when you hit it at a certain spot it could just like fracture all over the place and the uh medical examiner that did the autopsy said that uh he had several fractures in his head and when he was looking at bob's skull he basically said those are the kinds of injuries that you get from being hit with a baseball bat or being in a really really bad car accident the posterior part of his skull is I guess the, the doctor who did it did, did the autopsy is, assumed that he, Bob Saget fell back, hit his head, and it's almost like okay, I hit my head, man. Let me sleep this off. Except the doctor said, no, he hit his head so hard, he wouldn't even have been aware. He would have been like out of it, and he would have required urgent medical treatment. However, I didn't see anything in an article online about if maybe Bob Saget uh, fell in the bathroom. I have no idea. It's just, it's a weird story. His last tweet was around a quarter to 4 a.m. Uh, he had thanked everybody that showed up to where he was uh, performing at because he had did a two hour stand-up act. And he had said something about uh, he's falling in love with doing stand-up comedy again. And when they did the toxicology on his body, it indicated that uh, there was no um, illegal drugs or uh, any alcohol in the system. Uh, the only thing that was in his system were the drugs that were prescribed by his doctor. He had, a, I think it was called Transidine uh, and Klonopin, which is a uh, medication that's used to uh, for panic attacks. And I think the one is for... Uh, for seizures or something like that. So I don't know if uh, Bob Sag, I don't know his medical history, but I don't know if he was prone to having seizures. But, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think his death is just gonna go down as just being one of just, <laughs> it's a mystery. It's just gonna be one of those Hollywood mysteries that no one will really know what happened. It was almost like he got attacked, but obviously there was no signs 
of uh, you know a scuffle or a fight or a robbery or anything like that I mean I don't think anybody really knows or will ever truly know what happened he simply hit his head very 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 hard the equivalent of falling off of a 20-foot ladder and if you're gonna be conscious enough after getting hit and then go to bed I mean it's just weird so this is what we're gonna do I don't know what the security here looks like people are already kind of giving me weird looks so let's uh let's see if we can go upstairs at least I'll try to show you the door or his room where he died let's go upstairs guys let's go upstairs okay we are in then I wasn't really certain what to expect coming in here, but, um, yeah. Okay, and what's going on there? Um, we have a, we have an unresponsive guest in a room. My officer is telling me that he, that there's no pulse. Okay. Non-responsive, not breathing? Yeah, um, not responsive, not breathing, and no pulse. Okay, stand the line for medical, one moment. Thank you. He doesn't have a pulse, he's not moving, he's not breathing, and he's pale. Okay, do you know how long he's been that way? I have no idea, sir. We just got a call to come do a wellness check. Please tell me exactly why it looks like he's dead. So he's not breathing, he's not moving, and I don't know how long. His skin is yellowish. Um, no call. He's cold, super cold. Is he also stiff? Yes. Okay. Or do you think he's beyond any help? Yes. 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 Agent 58 Rescue 54, Medical Echo 4012, Central Florida Parkway, between South Daniel Parkway and Creekview Preserve Drive. It's going to be at the Red Carlton. Patient will be in room 962. It's going to be for a male patient. Caller is advising it's an obvious death, stating a security officer found a guest not breathing, no pulse. Call taker still in line, getting further at 1612. I just noticed that it was open. It's... Housekeeping. That is the room where he died. This would have been the bed where he was found dead. Wow. Very interesting. All right, let's make a quick exit.